Hi guys, this is Rohit Tandon from the team CreateEdge. Thanks for joining us for the second part of the two-part video series on new features and enhancements in Revit Structure 2021. So let's take a look at some more new features made in Revit. Namely, they are Infrastructure Discipline and Bridge Categories Integrated Structural Analysis Results Exploration Inserting Steel Elements in Section and Elevation Views Steel Objects Editing Enhancements and Dimension Snapping to Steel Plates and Creating Stiffeners on Steel Beams. So let's start with the first feature that is Infrastructure Discipline and Bridge Categories. So now Infrastructure Discipline and Bridge Categories have been added in Revit Structure which can be used to create infra projects in Revit. These bridge categories can be accessed from the Visibility and the Graphics tab. They can be used for creating filters. And we can even generate schedules with the Infrastructure Discipline. Now, projects from software such as InfraWorks and Civil 3D can also be brought into Revit structure and they can be directly scheduled. As for now, in this example, we have a bridge which has been directly created in Revit structure. So let's just try and filter out these PSC girders from the rest of the model. So I'll go to the View tab. In Graphics panel, I'll click on the Filters tool. I'll click on New to create a new filter. I'll just name it as PSC girder. Click on OK. We can then come to the filter list where I'll just set the discipline to infrastructure and then I'll just select the category according to which I want to set the filter. So I'll just select the category as structural framing. I'll set the parameter to comments. I'll set the operand to equals and I'll just give the value for the parameter here. So I'll just give the value as PSC girder itself. I'll then just simply click on OK to create the filter. Once done, I'll now move to the Visibility and Graphics tab and in the Filters tab, I'll just add the filter. Here, I'll come to the Patterns column here where I'll just give the override to the pattern. So, I'll just set the pattern to Solid Fill and I'll give it a color, for example, red. Now, once done, I'll now just select all these girders over here and I'll just set the value for the comments properties of this girder to PSC girder to apply the filter. So I'll just quickly select all these girders over here. I'll now come to the comments property here where I'll just set its value to PSC girder. And this just applies the filter to just filter out these girders from the rest of the model. So this is how we can now make use of the infrastructure discipline and the bridge categories for creating infrastructure projects in Revit structure. Now moving on, the next feature here is integrated structural analysis results exploration. Now whenever we create any structural model in Revit structure, it automatically generates an analytical model for that. We can then just set the boundary conditions for that model and we can also apply loads in Revit structure itself. We can then just take this anal analytical model to any analysis software for analysis and generate results. Now, Revit supports the direct integration of robot structural analysis software which can be used for such analysis and results op obtained can be directly viewed and explored in Revit. So let's just check it out. So for this model, I'll just move to the Analyze tab and here we are now introduced with the new Structural Analysis panel. Here I can just simply open the Robot Structural Analysis drop-down and click on Robot Structural Analysis link. Here I can just select the Send Model option and click on OK to send the model to Robot Structural Analysis software. Now if the software is installed with us, the software automatically opens along with the model in it. We can then just analyze the model over here and generate the results. Once that is done, we can switch back to Revit. Here again, I'll just open the Robot Structural Analysis drop-down, click on Robot Structural Analysis link and here we can update the model and the results. Revit will just ask us to give a particular name to the model and the name to the analysis. We can do this as required and click on OK. Revit just starts bringing in the results from robot structural analysis software. 
Once this is done, Revit will just give us a message and the results explorer option will also highlight over here. So this is the message generated that the update is complete. And if there are certain warnings and we want to review them, we can just click on yes. As of now, I'll just click on no. Now the results explorer option is on over here. I'll before that move to results manager where we find the link from the robot structural analysis software already opened over here or loaded over here. Now there is another option of doing the analysis on Autodesk Cloud so we can send our model to Autodesk Cloud also and the analysis can be done there. Once the analysis is done then the results or the package can be downloaded from there as well. We can then just if required explore our results directly from this tab or we can close this and we can then just simply click on the results explorer over here which opens this results explorer tab and as per our requirement we can check for any of the results. So over here I'll just come to the results for members and let's just try and check the shear forces for the members over here. We can then just simply set our scale so that we are able to see the values properly over here. So these are the different shear forces values that have been generated and the results that have been generated over here. Similarly, the same thing can be done for the moments as well. So I'll just select the moments option over here as well. So these are the different moments that have been generated over here. So this is how we can just do our analysis and we can just check the analysis results back in Revit now from Revit 2021. Now moving on, the next feature is inserting steel elements in section in elevation views. So I'll just switch to this project over here where we have this steel model created. Over here, let's just try and create a small connection for these bracings over here. So in this, I'll just come to the section view that has been created here. So I'll just open this section over here. Now from uh, Revit 2021, we can directly come to the steel tab and we can simply start off using all these elements over here from the section or directly in the section or the elevation views. So I'll just start off by creating a plate. So I'll just click on plate. I'll just set the work plane over here. And then I can create the plate as per the requirement. So now Revit does not ask for creating or selecting any work plane over here. And we can directly work in the section view over here. I'll just click on finish to just create this plate. We can view this over here in the 3D view. Now I'll just move on and I'll just try and create some bolts over here as well. So we can make use of any of these tools over here to directly create it in the section view over here. So I'll just select the bolts option here and just select this plate and this bracing here. Press enter and then I'll just select the work plane on which I just want to create it. I'll just create the boundary for the bolts over here. I'll just select this and rotate it as well. And I can then just move it at a proper position. And now just simply click on finish to just create the bolts here. We can just set the diameter for the bolts. And we can also adjust the numbers here as well. Now I'll try and do the same thing on this side over here as well. So again, I'll just take the bolts. I'll just select the members over here, press enter, set the plane and then I'll just create 
the same boundary over here as well. I'll just select this and I'll just rotate it as well. I'll just finish it to create the bolts. I'll just set the diameter and again the numbers over here as well. So this is how we can now just directly create any modeling elements over here in the section view directly from Revit 2021. Now, uh, moving on, the next feature over here is the steel objects editing enhancements and the dimension snapping to steel plates. So again, I'll just switch back to the section view over here. Now here, like uh, if for example, I just want to change the uh, position of the bolts over here. So what we can do is we can just simply select that uh, over here if required. I can again just come back I can increase the number over here so I'll just try and increase the number over here and now if I just select this we can now edit this pattern over here as well so I'll just uh, click on edit pattern and now if required I can just change the boundary over here if required so this is a, again a new feature that has been added over here so I'll just bring back the number to one as per my requirement for this project over here Similarly for plates as well if I just select this plate I get the edit boundary option now over here So I can just select this and I can edit the boundary for the plates as well Similarly, uh, I'll come down. I'll just try and create a hole in this plate over here So we have this contour cut option. I'll just select this. I'll just select this plate and I'll just try and create a Opening through this plate here just for example, and I'll just click on finish So now this opening has been added in this plate over here now from Revit 2021 if required we can just edit this boundary of the opening as well So I'll just press tab to just select this opening So we get this edit boundary option now available in Revit We can select this and we can just change the diameter of this if required So now these elements can be directly edited in Revit 2021 as well Now moving on If required I can just uh, come to the annotate tab. I'll just take this aligned dimension over here and we can now just snap to the Center of the plates over here as well. So for that I just need to first switch my detail level uh, or the visual style to wireframe over here So I'll just switch to the wireframe mode over here and I'll take the Dimension once again and now here we can notice that we can snap to the center of the plates for dimensioning as well So this is again a new feature that has been added over here and we can then just simply Add dimensions as per our requirement So I'll again just switch the scale to a lower value over here now in this again if required, you know, we can also uh, switch to the center of the beams over here as well so the dimensions now snap to the center of the plates and the center of the beams as well So this is again a new welcome feature that has been added in a uh, Revit structure now and I can just apply this uh, dimension over here as well now moving on the next feature or the last feature is creating stiffeners on steel beams So again over here I can come back to the section over here and since we have just Created this kind of a, you know a connection for this bracing I would like to just add some stiffeners to this main beam over here So here what we can do is I can again just come back to the steel tab and in the connection over here I'll just First click on this connection settings over here and I'll just load the connections over here So we can select these connections and we can load them here Now once the connections are loaded, I can then just simply click on this connection option over here So we have these different connections already loaded over here There are a quite a new variety of connections that have been added One of them is the stiffener plate. So I'll just uh, scroll down to just select that stiffener plate uh, option over here. So here we have this stiffener option. I can just select this option over here 
now it will ask us to just select the beam where we just want to add the stiffener so i'll just select that press enter and then i can just set the position where i just want to create the stiffener so i'll just click here and revit just adds the stiffener over here similarly i'll try and do it once again on this side over here as well so again i just need to select the beam i'll just press enter and then i can just simply click to place the stiffener here as well so now these stiffeners can be directly added to beams here we can select these stiffeners and we can obviously move back to edit type and we can edit the parameters for the stiffener as well so that can be done so the parameters 1 and parameters 2 as required so corner fish, uh, finish can be set so i'll just uh, zoom into this preview over here and i can just set the corner finish accordingly and again uh, we can come to parameters one and we can just set the alignment over here and the height uh, we can move to the center marks chamfering if required and patterns can all be set from here if required so this is again a new feature of adding stiffeners that has been now added in a revit structure 2021 so this is or this brings us to the end of this video so these are all the different new features that have been added in revit structure 2021 so until the next time we meet please take care and thank you